This is Sean OTD, and welcome back to Is It Worth It? Today, the ACOG 4x32. Is this worth fifteen hundred bucks for this for this optic? Um, well, let's just jump right into it and uh, kind of go over a couple of the features and, and why I chose this optic. I initially was going to get the uh, Aimpoint Red Dot, which had no magnification, and you can get a um, you know plus three or plus four plus five magnifier to slide into place to magnify your your zoom, just like a Neotech. Uh, so you can just pull up and use both eyes open and acquire your target and then you can always push the other one in and zoom into your target times four. Uh, I went ahead and decided to go with the uh, ACOG because for one there is no battery is required. Uh, this whole top is this one long fiber optic rod. So as I pull up even in the low light of the uh, studio here I can still see the uh, red arrow of the ACOG and if you notice, I have both eyes open, so you can still do quick acquisition with it and still move and shoot, you know, and you're doing it at a times four distance. And then, of course, you can always use backup sights for close range. Most people that pick up any kind of real optic is because you're looking for some type of a raw or some type of a, you know, SHTF situation, whether it be a zombie apocalypse or Hurricane Katrina or whatever. If you're in a place where you're going to have to defend yourself and you need to have, you know, a quality optic where you can acquire your targets and defend yourself, you know, you're going to need something that's going to be reliable and that you can just pick it up and use. And versus having to worry about any batteries, you know, either going bad or, you know, without any circuitry going bad inside the optic itself, you know, you don't have to worry about this when it's all mechanical. It's just a fiber optic rod. So, you know, it gives you peace of mind knowing that and you pick it up, it's always going to be the same. Uh, this is what the military uses. So, um, you know, it's solid. They're used to being dropped. They have a great warranty with through Trigicon. So, um, and their ACOG is no exception to their to their handgun sights. Uh, it's just a phenomenal piece of equipment. Um, I've sighted it up. I sighted it at 50 yards. Um, and even shooting at 100 yards, it only takes a, a quick second to just change your calculations with the, with the compensations marks that it has inside the actual optic itself. And you can just adjust for windage and elevation and bullet drop or bullet rise and pull the trigger and you're right on the money. Uh, one of the other important features of this I really wanted to bring out was that it has a honeycomb. And you can have the non-honeycomb. But what the honeycomb does is it stops scope glint. So like watch movies and you see the sniper and you see the glint of the scope and they go, oh, there's a sniper over there. This honeycomb stops that. So if you're out in the field a little ways, you don't have to worry about the scope glint because this helps block all the direct sunlight and reflectiveness of light. So that was the other thing that I definitely wanted to bring out that the ACOG has that most other optics don't carry is the honeycomb for anti-scope um, glint. So you sight it in at 50 yards, you can still hit minute and a man easy at 100 yards. And with a little tweaking, you can hit, you know, bullseyes. So you know, without having to change the actual settings. So I definitely uh, say it's worth it if you have the means to do so. If not, uh, please stay tuned uh, for some less expensive options. Thanks for watching and as always, subscribe.